Hi, my name is Jan, and in this short video I would like to talk about some of the issues that will arise as a result of the growing application of automated systems. Automated systems are useful for a wide variety of tasks, but sometimes they can create new problems. These problems are not necessarily caused by the automated system itself, or by the human operator, but rather through the interaction between the two. In this video, I will use the concepts of trust, confusion and incorrect use to explain a problematic interaction between a man and his newly acquired automatic lawnmower. This example comes from my personal experience when I worked in a hardware store. The hardware store I worked at also sold, installed and serviced automatic lawnmowers. I remember one customer, let's call him Jim, who had an automatic lawnmower installed at his house. Jim was in his late 60s and retired. He was still fit enough to mow his lawn himself, but he liked the idea of an automated system doing it for him. So, Jim bought an automatic lawnmower and had it installed. It was set up to mow his lawn on specific days, each time at 8am. However, Jim didn't really have too much trust in the robot to do what it was supposed to do, so he kept a close eye on it. One day, the robot did not start mowing the lawn at 8am, and he noticed it right away since he constantly checked its progress. Jim then assumed that the machine wasn't working properly, so he started changing the settings. However, he did not fully understand all settings which caused new problems, as the robot was now set up to start mowing in the middle of the night instead. So, what went wrong? And how does this tie into the concept of trust, incorrect use and confusion? The initial reason the robot didn't start mowing at 8 that morning was the fact that the grass was still wet. Wet grass can disrupt the mower so it has sensors to tell if the grass is dry enough. After sensing the grass was wet, the robot went back to the charging station to try again later. This is part of its regular functionality. However, Jim already assumed it wasn't functioning properly because he had too little trust in the system doing what it should do. Jim's lack of trust in the robot was reinforced by his confusion about how the lawnmower operated. He either didn't know the robot was capable of sensing that the grass was wet, or he didn't know this could be a problem for the robot. Jim did not have a clear understanding of how the machine worked and what functions it had. At the same time, the robot did not communicate its actions clear enough to Jim. There was no message or error saying, grass is wet, trying again later. The confusion led to Jim using the machine incorrectly. Jim started changing settings which actually created a problem that wasn't there before. Of course, now that the robot had developed a problem, Jim's trust in the system wasn't any higher. This was the start of a few months of Jim coming back to the store every now and again with new problems that would always be the result of his distrust in the system and the confusion about its functioning. Once the trust is broken, it's difficult to get it back. My boss and my colleagues who helped Jim with the issues tried to convince him to have more trust, but this didn't help. Eventually, my boss made a deal with Jim to exchange the automatic mower for my boss's regular push mower. My boss took the automatic lawnmower home and it works without problems to this day. The big difference is of course that my boss knows what the device can do. He trusts it will work correctly. This trust is most likely also based in the fact that he has installed and set up many of these robots. He knows that they work and how they work. There's no confusion about functions. Also, he does not check the time it starts every day. He just sees his grass has been mowed when he gets home and knows it all works. This reinforces his trust in and understanding of the machine's functionality. So, here we have a clear example of how low trust, combined with a machine whose functionalities aren't clear, can lead to confusion and incorrect use and subsequently to a breakdown of human automation interaction. The right amount of trust in the machine and clear communication to the human operator are both vitally important for interaction between man and machine to go smoothly. If you would like to know more about human automation interaction, you should read the article I based my video on. Thank you all for watching.